Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to stall a little bit with some madness. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, this is the Jacksons from 2300 Jackson Street. And they're talking about, there's an art to all this madness. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Again, we got the Jacksons in our background, and they're talking about there's an art to all this madness. And we're going to let them be in our background. They're not going to be too loud, y'all, I promise. All right, let me explain something, y'all. This is going to be the beginning of a beautiful relationship. Take a look. It's an alleged mortgage fraud felony complaint form. Okay? Claim of alleged criminal conduct, mortgage fraud, conspiracy, misrepresentations. Because in order to bring up conspiracy or fraud, and that's what we're going to do. We haven't put the all the elements. Most of the elements are here. We haven't put all of the elements here. But I want you to pay attention to what we put here. Hey, um, Tito, y'all, 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 hold on, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it says, I believe that the statute defines mortgage fraud in part as knowingly making a deliberate misstatement, misrepresentation. Remember, fraud has to have misrepresentations, falsities, or omissions during the mortgage lending process with the intent that the misstatements, misrepresentations, or the omissions be relied on by the mortgage, we're going to say borrower, forget the mortgage lender, okay? We're going to say borrower, okay? Because that's who, that's who we're talking about. All right. Or other parties to the mortgage in the lending process. And I believe that the parties listed herein, other than the claimant, are alleged to have committed such cognizable criminal offenses against my person, my property, my interest, the interests of the American people, as well as the American government. And due to financial entanglements of the court in an effort to protect their Chris, the court registry investment services, interest financial gains program, have given these and other conspirators a pass. And I object. As government has an obligatory duty to respond in substance, I present my complaint for the criminal redress of wrongs done my person and interest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually taken from a case. I just changed it to you and complaint and so forth. But that language right there, obligatory duty to respond in substance, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, those are not my words. That's that case right there. Just like those of you who, oh God, if you guys will only know that the Attorney General even has an obligation, that is in here too. When you look at the case law, that talks about obligations, go through it and you'll see the Attorney General has an obligation to respond. That's why in the Bradley Christopher Stark matter, they ruled that the Attorney General agreed to the contract because he had a duty to respond to inquiries. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. The clear policy advanced by the Fifth Circuit is that although plaintiffs have a responsibility to initially attempt to comply with administrative requirements, the government is under an obligation to communicate with claimants and investigate claims in good faith. That's right, they have to, y'all. That's the case law right there. The, the, the case that, oh, I almost lost my esophagus saying case law. I apologize. State, as a member of the executive branch, is ultimately answerable to the people. The state, as a member of the executive branch, is ultimately answerable to the people. That is not to suggest that the Attorney General may denigrate or act in derogation of individual rights to satisfy public opinion or for political consideration, but the Attorney General owes a duty to respond to legitimate concerns of the citizenry. Legitimate concerns, not just all that crap that many of you like to throw at them. Legitimate concerns. That's why we use their own laws against them, their own case law. That's what this document does. 
the first thing it does, name of the claimants, name of the uh, the account numbers, the address of the claimant, the associated property addresses, all that information. Then we list the name of the offenders and identifying information for those offenders, those alleged offenders. Yeah, we put their information here. The bank's name just copy and paste. Okay, then we which type of loan it was. Hey, this is an eight page document. It won't be more than eight pages. The last page is a Jarat. This is the part that I'm gonna be adding some information at the bottom. Not y'all. Okay. Just 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 keep on. Okay, keep on using until you use own up. Alright. That's for me to fill in the rest later. I'll be doing that tomorrow. Okay, this section is what I was writing. The information I report on this form may be used to help with the investigation of the alleged violation of state and federal laws. The completed and mailed and or fax forms and supported documents may be sent to one of the offices of government. We're going to say... We're going to get rid of this part right here. Because I just typed this in. Oh, God. Oh, I did it again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's because of that form. I haven't saved it correctly, correctly. So there's a lot of things going on in that document that the system doesn't like. And so it's shut down. I'll have to do it tomorrow. It saved it. it it's nothing wrong. Uh, what, what I'm basically saying is the document is halfway done. I still got half of it to do. Now you guys got to understand this. I started on this on Friday. Well, no, I think it was Thursday of last week or something like that. I started on it sometime last week. I don't remember. I've been working on it and working on it and working on it. The other one took me almost 80 hours when I finally finished. This one will probably take me the same. I'm hoping to get it done tomorrow. I've been working on it since about 11 o'clock this morning. Had one meeting that I had to attend, but I've been working on it since that meeting ended. It is 8.16. I'm about to get some rest, but I will do the best I can to get that document done. I'm going to explain this so that you guys get it because a lot of people are not paying attention. They're not getting it, and I know they're not getting it because I know people. Ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to take your homes, and I'm trying to do whatever I can to help you. There are no silver bullets with respects to... What, what is there a form? Is there a document? We're not doing forms and documents, ladies and gentlemen. We're doing complaints. We're doing the First Amendment. Your right to petition for redress. That's what we're doing. You're going to petition for redress. Why? Because if government fails to do their job, you can now sue the government for failing to redress the wrongs. You have that right. That's what we're doing. Okay, we're not we're not doing anything special. That document, the one point that I was trying to bring out because it said it there, they have your permission to send the document to other agencies, but they don't have your permission to investigate you. See, that's the first thing these agencies do. The moment they get your name, they want to find out who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, they want to find out not only who you are, but they want to investigate you so that they can find something against you. That's what they did to me, which cause that problem that I just had that I had to correct them on their ignorance because I filed a discrimination complaint because we were trying to do a land patent on a 1.4 million dollar property that's how they paid me back I haven't let that go that's what the complaint form is ladies and gentlemen the more of you who file complaints and if you have brothers sisters cousins mothers who had problems with judges know this by filing a criminal complaint, alleged criminal complaint against these individuals, you are classified as a witness. They cannot tamper with a witness, intimidate a witness. That's what they are doing. There are laws that prohibit witness tampering. Y'all need to understand. These complaints you have a right to do. That's why we went to their website and documented their complaint forms and we're using their complaint form language okay that's what we're doing so that's what I wanted to explain no more case law no more documents I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on hey before 10 minutes are up this video is up you guys have a good day I'm going to sleep good night goodbye adios arrivederci